Today we made potato pancakes. Very simple, full of flavor. I'm sorry guys, I almost knocked you down. Okay, not hard to make at all. Just a few potatoes and a few seasonings, basic. Okay, and you've got a great side dish, or you can have this as a meal if you like. Could be your main, the main part of your meal. Wanna learn how to make it? Okay, stand by. Okay guys, so we're gonna start our, our potato pancakes. So we shredded the potatoes and um, what we did was I used a box grater and I tried to shred them on the, um, the finer grate, but it, was, it takes a really long time and it comes out really, really fine and liquidy. So I had to stop that and use the second larger grate Okay, I didn't want to use the, the larger one for shredding. I prefer the smaller one. Okay, because that's the consistency that I really want. Well, I really wanted a more finer consistency, but that's the best that I can get with the box grater. And um, it, it was three medium potatoes. And what we're gonna add to them is some flour, one egg beaten, black pepper, um, oregano, poultry seasoning, Himalayan salt, diced onion, about a quarter of a medium onion, some, um, so this is a mixture of cilantro, green pepper, and onion, um, that was, um, finely, um, grated in the food processor, some flour and baking soda, and to cook the potato pancakes, you're going to use butter and oil. Okay, so I'm going to get the um, potatoes. Okay, and here they are. The only thing about grating the potatoes is that they start to turn, to turn dark. They oxidize with the air, and I don't know if there's much we can do about that. I'm going to have to research that. But ever since I've made them, that's what they do. Um, you can just try and get rid of the liquid that accumulates. But other than that, so we're going to make a batter with this. We're going to add, I'm going to add about half of that egg. So it's just like making uh, pancakes, regular pancakes, only we're making them with potatoes. Okay, so I might make another video in which, an updated video on how I really, because if you see the texture, it looks more like um, like a hash brown. That's not really the texture I like. I like it to be more like an applesauce texture. So I would have to put it in the, um, either a blender or in a food processor for that after I get it this way. So that would be like a two-step process. Okay, so I'm gonna add onions okay we're gonna turn this start to heat up our pan we're gonna put that on medium low so let's see okay so that's that um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this mixture in here. The um, this is cilantro, cilantro, green pepper, and onion. There might be garlic in here because sometimes I make it with garlic and then I freeze it, so I'm not sure. And more of the um, flour. It's gonna be about two to four tablespoons of flour. It could be more. You just have to see how this holds up. And we're gonna add two thirds of a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, 
Yeah, I can feel this heating up over here. I also added um, a half of a teaspoon of white vinegar in here just to keep it from turning too dark, the, um, the potato mix. I don't know if that helps. I've heard lemon helps, but um, I didn't have any lemon with me, so let's see if this helps. Just don't want it to get too dark. And I kept it in the um, refrigerator while I was preparing everything else. But you don't want this potato mix waiting on you too long, so the best thing to do is um, grate your potatoes last. Prepare everything else, get everything ready, and then grate your potatoes so they don't stand there getting brown. Okay. Let me see how that looks. I think it needs a little bit more flour. And this is how it looks so far. All right, so it's almost getting there. Maybe a little bit more flour in there. I think I'm gonna put in the rest of the egg. I'm gonna move the pan back because it's I don't want it to get too hot. Okay. I feel that it needs the rest of the flour that I have here. I'm going to add it in. I might need even a little bit more than that, but... Smell it. I want to see. I think it has enough onion. Let's see. I'll add maybe a little bit more of the onion mix. Okay, let's turn this off. because I notice it starts to produce more liquid as it sits here, so I'm gonna, um, okay, we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of, um, this is my sea salt. This is a little messy here. Okay, as, as um, time goes by, as we're mixing this, I notice it's producing more liquid. I think the potatoes are just letting off more of the liquid. So, I think I'm going to add just maybe one or two more tablespoons of flour. Okay. flour all over myself. That's one of the things I don't like about flour. It gets all over everything. 
Okay, so we're gonna just sprinkle a little bit more flour in there. Let's do about a tablespoon. Also have poultry seasoning. I like the um the fragrance of this. It smells really good, and I think I'm gonna add it in. It's gonna just to enhance the flavor of the um of the potatoes a little, so the potatoes are not too bland. And um, whatever seasonings you have that you like and enjoy, just add them in. I just I'm adding a little bit of um, oregano. About a uh, third of a teaspoon. to see if it smells good because I don't I really don't want to taste this raw potato mix. And I'm gonna add about I think we're getting there in flour. I think it's got enough flour now. Okay guys, so I added some butter and oil to the non-stick and now I'm gonna drop some of the, um, I'm gonna make, see if I can fit three small ones at a time. Let's see. I just should make a test one to see if it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna check and see if we can turn them over. Okay guys, these three are done, so we're going to place them in this um, pan and then we're going to put them in the oven 
I've got a small oven over here, which I'm going to keep them warm while I'm making the rest. Okay, so that, there you go. That's a three. Okay. It's going to go in my oven. It's going to go in there. Let's see. I want to put it at 300. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's my small toaster oven. All right, so now we're going to add a little bit of oil again. That's all I need, just needs a little bit. And there goes my spoon. All right, a little bit of butter. I think my pan is a little too hot because the butter browns pretty quickly when I put it in there. Alrighty, here we go. Flatten that down a little bit when you put it down. You can make them whatever size you want, it doesn't really matter. Hey guys, if you're still with me, please don't forget to subscribe. Only takes a second, just a friendly reminder. I know when I watch videos, sometimes I forget to subscribe to something that I really like or something that I felt that I got something out of. So, you know, give me a like, subscribe, share it with anyone you feel might have use of this video. And I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, guys, our potato pancakes are done. We got 12. Out of that mix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taste one. Go. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. They're good and salt. I could taste the seasoning in here. I can taste the onion. Let me see. Let me just taste another piece. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are really good. Guys, I recommend these. You should try these. They're not hard at all. They're very simple. Thanks for stopping by.